Hi everybody, this is Dino Chris from Prehistoric Facts. This is another special episode, special episode and uh, this will be epi special episode number 95. And so this would actually be talking about Kianzusaurus. Now, Kianzusaurus in Greek or Latin <coughs> uh, would it actually mean Ganzu or Kianzu, uh, reptile or lizard. <coughs> Lived in the Cretaceous, uh, fossils found in China uh, around, the, around the age of uh, in pr pretty much Cretaceous, so uh, 71 to 66 million years ago. Uh, length would have actually have been between 25 to 30 feet uh, and actually would have weighed one ton. And of course, Kansasaurus, if many of you know, it was actually discovered a, few, a couple of years ago uh, and it was actually nicknamed uh, Pinocchio Rex. And it's because it's actually a Tyrannosaur, can you believe it or not? And so, reason why it's called, uh, or always nicknamed Pinocchio Rex is because it's kind of got like, this elongated snout. And so, it's kind of actually odd for a Tyrannosaur. But there are elongated snouted Tyrannosaurs, but even though they actually don't have quite a distinguished type of uh, snout that Keontosaurus actually does have. And, uh, and of course, around that time, uh, Kianzusaurus would have actually have been would have had a huge competition against other Tyrannosaurs like Zugin Tyrannus and Tarbosaurus, and so Tarbosaurus and Zugin Tyrannus were actually a lot more powerful, lot more powerful uh, Tyrannosaurs. So they would have pretty much kind of kicked uh, uh, Kianzusaurus pretty good. Uh, but Kianzusaurus was probably more of a speedster than anything else, so it probably would have try to take on faster prey now with that elongated snout that means it would actually have to tackle smaller prey and so that means it would actually have to go after a prey that was a little bit faster but it would not actually take on animals that were actually really powerful like say some ceratopsians or sauropods that were actually around at the time so like the megtosaurus would have actually just had a really good shot of actually breaking the snout or the nas or the front of the skull of Kianzusaurus really easily and so Kianzusaurus probably, not, probably did not have uh, a very powerful bite force like other Tyrannosaurus that were actually around at that time so it would actually have uh, a very weak a very kind of um, almost kind of a weak bite force so it's kind of very odd for uh, a Tyrannosaur with that elongated snout that late to actually be around at that time but uh, it was it would probably have pretty close to Albertosaurus speed, almost 30 miles an hour. So that would actually be pretty interesting to see of a Kansasaurus running at you, but it would still catch you. And, uh, and of course the prey animals, would, the prey animals, it would just probably going after smaller ceratopsians, uh, probably going after some of the uh, uh, ornithomimids that were actually around the time, probably could actually tackle some hadrosaurs, mainly like the juveniles and that sort of thing. And, and of course, um, the extinction of this animal is just pretty much is that it just died out of the year the same time as where uh, the extinction event actually happened, the KPG extinction, uh, where they have that huge asteroid that actually uh, collided in the Gulf of Mexico and actually just uh, created these sorts of events that just altered uh, how things were actually going to be in the environment. You know, you actually have. Uh, not only just the shock wave and the uh, tsunamis and the earthquakes, and you actually have the um, raining of, mol of molten rock uh, coming from the sky, and also you actually have the uh, cloud of dust that would actually just cover the entire earth and blocked out the sun, and but also the volcanic eruptions and the Deccan traps might have actually had. Uh, something to do with the extinction as well and so you actually had like all sorts of events that actually happened at that time and so Kansas sources couldn't survive that and it's because well of course it's, it was it was a medium-sized uh, theropod and so could actually not actually survive for those types of events that actually happened all right that's it for now now on Sunday would actually no, Monday. Monday would actually be the ep special episode number 96, and I'll be doing three uh, special episodes. Uh, three.
three or four, I should say, three or four special episodes next week. And so make sure you send me, uh, f make sure to send me at least five more uh, uh, special episodes, uh, prehistoric animals you want me to talk about, mainly vertebrates. So I can only do single. I'm only going to do single spe single species of of uh, animals that would actually be um, talking about in each episode. So that way I can actually get closer to episode 100, which will actually be uploaded in the weekend of uh, June 2nd to June 4th. And so that would actually be the case for uh, episode 100 would actually be uploaded and so on and so forth. So it will probably be almost every other day that I actually have a special episode. So make sure to still uh, send me uh, as many um, uh, ideas for what kind of uh, prehistoric animals you want me to talk about, mainly vertebrates. Uh, you can by emailing me at dinochris71 at gmail.com or, or always uh, go on the Facebook page, Prehistoric Effects of Dino Chris, and actually submit your uh, ideas for what kind of uh, uh, special episodes for uh, prehistoric animals you want me to talk about. But also, you could still send me questions about dinosaurs and any other prehistoric life by emailing me at dinochris71 at gmail.com or just go on my Facebook page, Prehistoric Facts of Dino Chris. Like the page, you can actually post your questions in the comment section or even on the wall. But remember, keep your questions short to the point. You can also follow me on Twitter at CSGRALL. That's my Twitter page. We post pretty cool stuff on there. Also, take care of people around you. Notice for younger people out there, make sure to listen to your parents, your teachers, and your guardians. It's the best motivation you can have for good education. It's very important to have a good education. with a good education. You get a good job in the future. All right, that's it for now. And I'll see you guys on. On Monday.